Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Construction Simulator 2022. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys this job. Uh, so we are going to make a new road. So we are going to get the old asphalt off and we are going to get new one on it. It's going to pay us 300,000 currency, so that's a lot of money. We only need three machineries, so that's the asphalt paver, the cold planer, and the asphalt compactor. Uh, so we are going to start with this machinery. So this is going to get the old asphalt away, and uh, then we can get the new one on it. So we are going to get this first in the vehicle dealer. So let's have a look. Let's use the filter, uh, so here it is. So we are going to rent this one. It's 6,000 currency for one day. And here we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's pick it up. And then let's fast travel to this position. Because it's a little bit of work. It's, uh, it's a lot of uh, asphalt that you need to remove. So I'm here at this moment. And uh, what is really cool is, if you look around to the road, you see that it's damaged. I see that a lot in, in real life too. So, uh, and that's, uh, that's really cool. And this was for me uh, a little bit uh, a surprise how it works. Because what do you need to do normally if you use this equipment? Uh, so you need to have a look to the info. And you will see that you need a second guy for it. But it seems if you do it in single mode like me, you can just throw it on the ground. It looks a little bit silly, uh, but it's how it works. So, uh, yeah, this machinery, it's, it's really cool to see how it works, this, uh, this stuff. So, but first I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the road. So you can see here are holes, here are, are holes and all that stuff. So I think a lot of people know that from real life. I see that a lot, but I never know how they uh, how they change it. So we are going to get the old uh, asphalt away. So I'm going to position this on the right position. First, I'm going to put the lights on. Here we go. And in this game, so you don't need to worry about... Uh, that you are going to destroy too much uh, road because it only allows you to get the, the, the road away that you need to get away. Uh, so, and what I saw was if you position the tires nicely like this and you always stay on this line, it's very easy to handle this machinery. So what we are going to do now is, yeah, not get out of the, the vehicle of course, we are going to put this on. And if you're on the right position, you will see that here at the bottom right, it's turning yellow. So we need to get a little bit more to the right position. Let's have a look that we can do it now. No, still not working. A little bit more. Here it goes. So now it's uh, active. And now we can just yeah drive. And I'm just watching that I stay on this position. And you can already see that I'm scraping... No, I'm not scraping at the moment. So it just jumped off again. So let's do it again. Okay, here we go. So now it's active. And you see normally here is like a, a car or a truck. But now I just throw it on the road. So I saw yesterday there was a question from a guy. That asked the question, how do you need to do it? Can you do it? And you can do it. It looks a little bit silly because you're throwing all the asphalt just in front of you and it disappears. But yeah, I'm not sure how you can do that. Otherwise, I was thinking maybe some AI helpers. They are here, but they cannot do this task. Uh, so uh, therefore, you guys can see uh, this is hard, by the way. So I need to be sure that I do it all and you need to watch it a little bit. So now I went a little bit too much to the right. And when the machinery stops, uh, yeah, that's where it stops, where you need to replace the road. And I think we are almost here. Okay, so here it stops. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put off 
the machinery because we are going to turn it and now we do just the same so what I do is I just go to the other side now and I'm sure that my tire is now against this I'm going to position it a little bit more straight so that it's just over this edge and then it's perfect so let's go a little bit back that we are going to get nicely and straight so now you can see no it need to be over it a little bit otherwise I'm going to so like this so let's try to get it up a little bit further okay here we go and now we just drive just on the edge and then we are going to take all the asphalt that we can have and you can see if you do it this way you don't need to come back to get the remaining asphalt uh, it's it's nicely done and uh, yeah, that's how we need to do it. So what I'm going to do now is, guys, I'm just going to finish this job. And then when this is done, I'm coming back to you guys. And we are going to uh, put the new asphalt on it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we just need to finish it with, uh, with the last machine. And that's it. So I'm going to finish this job. And I see you guys in like half of a second. Okay guys, the next part, we are going to uh, yeah, put new asphalt out. So what do you need for it? You need to have this asphalt paver. Uh, normally you need to have a truck too. Uh, so if you don't know how you need to use it, you just need to push one. And then you can see it here. But it seems that I don't need the truck. So normally you need to have this truck. You need to go to the gravel yard, put the asphalt in the machinery here. And... Uh, then it can start but it seems that i can just fill it up uh just like that so maybe it's because i'm in single game and uh this is not so easy because i already did some uh, some testing you guys can see it so first of all what do you need to do so you need to do this so fill it up here you can see it and then you need to get this out extend paving screen and this has to be just at the edge and just on the position that you need to put the new asphalt. Another thing that is a little bit tricky, you need to use two buttons to drive with it. So you can see it here. So you need to hold A and E and W and C to get back. Uh, so it's a little bit strange how it works, this machinery. But uh, yeah, it's how it is. So we are going to position it like this. Let's put it a little bit straight. Yeah. Okay. That's good. A little bit further. Because the problem is if you start using this machinery, you will see that it goes left, right. So you need to adjust a little bit. You cannot go too fast with it. I think that's normal because it's hot asphalt and I think it's very difficult to work with this kind of material. So what we are going to do now is we are going to put on asphalting. And now it's going down and let's have a look that we can do it. And I'm just going to do small steps just to have a look. Yeah, it's still on and this has to be a little bit more to the left. Yeah, let's have a look. I think we are going to miss the edge here. Yeah, and there it goes. So I'm not doing anything. And that's the main problem that I see. So we're just going forward. The machinery is going left and right and all that stuff. And you see that we are missing here a small part. So I'm going to try to get it a little bit better. But this is not easy. It's uh, just take it very slow. Okay, this is a little bit better, but the machine is going once again to the other side. So let's adjust a little bit. And I think that we are now on the perfect spot. So you see, it takes some time. Just adjust it a little bit. And uh, once that you are gone, you can just keep going. And uh, you see now that we are getting the percentage up here. And I think, yeah, we need to fill it again. Okay. Can we go back with this machine and start over again? Okay. Little bit further. That's good that it stays now at perfect position. Let's start it again. 
Okay, and here we go again. Once again. It's a pity that we, we need to start over again, because for me we were going really, really, really good this time. So now we need to adjust a little bit. Okay. A little bit like this to get straight and now we need to go like this yeah and i think we are good again so uh it was a pity i'm i'm not sure where i can see that uh because i want to stop now in time i'm just going to have a look at it visual yeah i'm going to fill up now again just uh to prevent can i just empty it and fill it up yeah here we go just to prevent the problem that we just had because I skipped some, you can see it here, so it's not well done. And the problem is it needs to dry up a little bit and then I can go again. So I think that I now need to let it dry up again and then just go one time with the machine over it to fill the holes, but it was not so well done. So let's have a look. Okay, we can start, it's okay. So let's go again. Okay, that's one time. So 48%, that's not so bad, but yeah, it's not really well done. Uh, so um, I'm going to put everything off now. Let's empty it and let's fill it up again. That's okay. Let's get this away and let's turn the machine around. Yeah, let's position it. Here we go. I'm wondering what is going to happen if we just go over the old one. I just want to have a look. Maybe we can just fix it like that. So then I just need to go one time over this to fix it a little bit later. Okay, a little bit to the back. It's, I'm a little bit too far, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's put everything back on. And let's have a look how it's going to work. Yeah, it seems to work. So that's good. So we are going... I got the impression that I'm going a little bit sideways. Okay, I think we are okay. And uh, the problem that we had at the start, so let's have a look. Yeah, the asphalt just in time. So let's fill it up again. Just in time, I remembered. Otherwise, we were once again stuck. So always remember that you get no asphalt. Yeah, and it's nicely. We are... The errors from the first time that we went over are now fixed. So uh, it's looking really good. It's looking really good. Yeah, let's go a little bit like this. Okay, is it... Yeah, let's fill up the asphalt one time more, just to be sure that we can get to the other side. Okay, and I need to say that's really well done. That's really well done. Uh, so it seems that uh, we fixed the problems here. And uh, 
I'm going to try to fix this now too. I'm not sure that the asphalt is already dry, but let's have a look that we can do it. And then I'm going to finish it up and then I'm coming back to you guys. But I want to have a look for a brief moment that we can do it this way. So let's turn around the machine. Yeah, it seems to be okay. I don't think that I'm stuck in the asphalt, so it's already dry. So let's get it started and let's finish this part. And I hope it's uh, it's going to work. So a little bit further, but my vehicle is driving a lot better at the moment. So it's not stuck anymore. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Yeah, do you see this? Perfect. I like this a lot. I need to watch that I don't hit. But is it the generator with the light? The working light probably. It's so sensitive, it's unbelievable. So I push a little bit to the left and it's it's like going already to, to that side very hard once again. How is the asphalt? Yeah, we don't use now a lot, I guess. So let let it, yeah, we need to get it straight now, the machine. Very important because there is something that is really bad. So let's get it on the place and let's do it like this. Yeah, we are just scraping now, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. It's okay. So that looks really, really good. It was a little bit like an amateur i know that but yeah it's not uh it's not that i do this daily but i'm going to finish this up guys so i only need to do one more lane and then i'm coming back to you guys and then we are going to go over it with with the big ball roller machinery and then it's done uh, so i see you guys in like half of a second Okay, I just finished the asphalt and you guys can see it looks beautiful. Uh, so uh, once again, job well done. It took some time because it was not that easy. Uh, but let's get this away. So we are going to get out of this machine. Okay, let's return this. And now for the end, we need to have a compactor, I think. So let's have a look to the shop. Yeah, the compactor, and that's very easy. I like to do this a lot. Uh, so let's get one in the vehicle dealer shop. So uh, it's over here. Let's filter it. So this one, let's rent it. Let's enter it. And then fast travel to the position and uh, this is the easiest part of uh, of the entire construction work that we need to do so you just start here and why it's so easy because you it's easy to drive with this uh, this machine so i'm going to put it over here it's just pushing forward again and to the other side. Going to have a look. Do we need to put it on? Yeah, but I need to go, of course, a little bit closer as always. Okay, here we go. So once again, you can watch the tires and you just need to be on the edge. So I'm watching this tire at this moment. And this is very easy. You can see it right away. So you just need to drive over the asphalt. I think the, the hot asphalt and now... We are going to push it that it's uh, strong 
and then it just need to dry yep and this is is very easy you don't need to do a lot of course here you just need to put the machine on and off uh, and uh, yeah turn around so let's do this really quick to end the video because it's not going to take that long I think so now we are on the end then I'm going to put this off we are going to turn Let's go a little bit back. I'm going to put it once again on the edge because I want to do this as fast as possible. So this looks really good for me. Okay, let's put it on. And here a little bit further. Okay, and here we go again. So nicely on the edge. So I'm watching once again my tire. Yeah, it's not really a tire, but is that it's nicely. Let's put the lights on. Here we go. Yeah, the problem is that it's now harder to see the edge. But that's how you need to do it guys, I'm going to end the video of, uh, on this position, so uh, I'm just going to do this, and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, have fun if you do this, and uh, I see you guys in the next video, bye bye.